I think that is a radical statement because we don't hear it enough. Like having having that the positive as the statement is is usually non-existent. So usually what happens is all of this will be disabled people can have sex, don't crave sex, don't have active sex lives, don't explore their sexuality, don't have agency, don't consent, don't have agency to consent, don't do kink. Usually it's all like, no, 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 that's not possible though. So to see this statement as it is possible is great, but unfortunately it shouldn't be a radical act, but it is because the mythos would tell us otherwise. Um, I think, you know, I think that again, it's great to see that in the positive, but unfortunately the reality for a lot of disabled people because of the ableism they face trying to access all of this, they aren't, they don't really have access to all these things because society and people in society and people in certain groups don't really give it to them because they're afraid to really talk about it. It can also be really hard to counter the myth in my life because sometimes I don't have access to sex. Sometimes I don't have access to my body. Sometimes I don't have access to other people's, you know, bodies the way that I might want to or their time or I can't access queerness the same way that, that other people can. So it can be really frustrating because I want to shout from the rooftops that like I, I deserve to be, to have a sex life. But then most of my time is is talking about how I deserve a sex life and not really engaging in the sex life that I want to have. And so that can be really frustrating.